player lost its capital. Wowee. I wonder who that might be. Wow, my happiness didn't even go into the negatives. Wow. Amazing. I think I'll just go on and wipe them out at York. My economic and science advisors want me to make a, to make a worker. It sounds like you need to make a worker. Yeah. Maybe time. Um, I want to build something. I just don't know what. God, everything costs so much money. I think it's another Coliseum. Okay, I have access to my own... If I lose eight happiness from no longer having an ally, I'll still be happy. But I have like a few turns until that happens. You stay there, you stay there, you also stay here. God, <laughs> I watched Phantom of the Opera for the first time two days ago. Yeah. I keep getting masquerade stuck in my head. Oh, that that that'll do it. Masquerade is one of those. I'm gonna have to turn the music down. It was very loud. Also, like the entire time I was watching it, from the first time I heard the phantom sing, I was just like, "Why do I want to run into the woods?" <laughs> what? <laughs> my soul gut reaction to hearing the phantom singing is to run into the woods. Not to, like, get away from it, it just brings me a deep desire to run into the woods. Uh... uh yeah. Which that, I that... think might be an intended effect. <laughs> yeah, some people head for the hills, others head for the woods, you know? Yeah. One is away, one is toward. Probably. Sounds like it. Like, some good singing and lyrics and musical choices and combinations thereof, like, will definitely get to me very ser in a very serious way. Mm -hmm. And the non-2004 movie rendition of Phantom of the Opera We'll do that. Oh, you know, sorry, the one I've been with, bonked. Um, um, Gerard Butler in it. Uh, ah, he can't sing. Monsieur Butler. No, he 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 know he know do the sing well. Also, like they show the Phantom's face in that movie real early on, so. Ah. Hello, Kitty. And hello, Triangle Man. Welcome to the stream, hello, and thank you very Triangle much for the bonk. Man. And a hydrate. Another hydrate. Let's do it. Hydrate or dihydrate. Ah, thank you very much for the hydration. I needed it. Wow. Wow, indeed. You know what I could really go for? Hot chocolate. Some chicken pot pie. Oh, damn it. The hot chocolate sound real good, too, though. <laughs> chicken Actually, pot pie is pretty bomb, yeah. While you're doing your war... Are you going to make a chicken pot pie? No, I'm going to go make hot chocolate. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, one sounds really labor-intensive. Hey! Triangle Man! You go, you, you crazy. Thank you very much for the gifted sub. I'm sure Tipsy Tiger will uh, very much appreciate that. Merry Christmas indeed, my friend. Um, and a happy St. Patty's Day to you as well. <laughs> Soon it will be Easter. <laughs> but thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, one more subscriber and happy 4th of July while you're at it. Yeah. Get your get your independence financially. 
by sending me money. <laughs> the Colosseums will be built so that I could sustain another happiness blow. And then after this, I'm going to further destroy my happiness by... Oh, I need this marble. Is that where you're going? Yeah, you're going to get the marble. Yeah, you go get that marble. <gasps> a path has opened up. A path into the woods. Into the woods we go again. You have to every now and then. But anyway, thank you very much, Triangle Man. That's awesome. We are one sub away from me just going and buying Spotify pre Premium. But yeah. That's, uh, uh, can't get over how awesome that was. How are you doing, my friend? I hope you're doing well. Okay, I have the first half of making hot chocolate done. Yay! I've got some stuff mixed up with some milk in my cup, and then I have the water on to boil. Nice! I've got the kettle on. Ah, uh, the kettle. We don't have a kettle. I feel what? like we should have it. We should have how, one. How do you make tea? Um, I put a tea bag into a mug and then run my Keurig without a pod in it. Okay, okay. I was very afraid that you were going to say that you put the water in the microwave. <laughs> Disgusting. Absolutely no. I refuse. Yeah, also, like, don't heat your water in the microwave. Because it can explode. Yeah, butter also does that. Well, no, no, like, it won't explode in the microwave. It'll explode when you go to stir it. Uh oh? And you'll get burns. That. Is that a personal story or is that a. a... No. That's an okay. actual thing that happens. Oh my god. I have never done that. Because I don't microwave my water like that. I'll microwave it in short bursts, stirring it to like heat it when I need like hot or warm water that, and I'm just too lazy to do the tap to warm. Like if I need like a particular temperature of water quickly, I'll like do it in short bursts and stir it until it's warm enough in like a measuring cup. But like, mm -hmm. I'll never try and heat it to like tea temperature. Yeah, no, that, that I don't understand why Americans who make tea think that, ah, I'll just pop it in the microwave and it's done. Like, yeah, don't do that. No, that's, that's, that's not. I will come literally into your every house tea bag. And I will tell you no very sternly if you do that. She's <laughs> going up to your window, the kitchen window, and just be like, it's just you in the window going, no, <laughs> no. Yeah. What are you doing in my Stop house? Just what what you're doing? Stop it. <laughs> Bad. Okay. And then you leave, and then and then they get the message. Mm -hmm. It's very non-threatening. Extremely non-threatening. <laughs> no one would ever be concerned about that. I need to hit next turn. Ah, eh, maybe a little bit. Okay, I think my water may be boiled. All right. I'm gonna lose, uh, I need to retreat. Put like too much milk and it's gonna be cold. Mmm. <laughs> Isn't that just the worst? It is one of the worst things, yeah. I also may have put like too much vanilla in here. Oh, vanilla and hot chocolate? Yes. I like to add vanilla and peppermint extracts into my hot chocolate. I don't have any peppermint extract right now. Oh, you know what I hear is good in hot chocolate? What? A, a, a pinch of salt. A very, very small pinch of salt. And a little nutmeg as well. 
Mm. Well, the hot chocolate powder I get already comes with salt in it. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Try the nutmeg one of these days and let yeah. me know how it is because I've just heard good things. I don't have hot chocolate, so I can't test it for myself. A fun fact about nutmeg. I love fun facts. If you consume it raw in enough of a quantity, it has a mild hallucinogenic effect. Whoa. Now I'm curious as to what the quantity is we need. Oh, it's actually not very big at all. All right. Where can I get Like if you're consuming it on at the grocery store in the spice aisle. It's like the powder is considered raw. I, I would think it yes, wouldn't be. It's raw. Oh, I would think a powder is more like a roasted and ground. Well, if you have like ground nutmeg, it's a mild hallucinogenic. How about that? Is that why I love pumpkin spice <laughs> so much? <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say bless you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was correct this time. Those, those were, in fact, sneezes and not hiccups. <laughs> so it's, sometimes it's hard to tell because you don't know if it's like the, just the mic cutting out. It's just like, mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Also, sorry, I am taking my sweet time to figure out uh, what I'm doing. That's all right. I'm just chilling. Um, I'm encroaching onto York's territory. Oh. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have the troop manpower to take it, though. Mm, that's fair. That is... Oh, man. I messed that up. Man, it's looking like there's nothing too much to the east, either. Sorry, to the west, not the east. Mm. Oh, weast. I thought you said weast. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that Coliseum is going to be done soon. Okay, you Ooh, know that. what? I put more vanilla in my hot chocolate than I normally do, but actually, this is delicious. Oh, nice. I'm so glad it's delicious. I'm also glad it's delicious. It sucks when things are not delicious. Speaking of things that are delicious, oh my God. I have to tell you about my dinner adventure. Oh my God, please do. So, I was at the grocery store today. Uh, before uh, we, I continue, uh, I do have a comment from Tara. Well, that's why pumpkin spice lattes are like crack to some people. It makes mm. so much more sense. <laughs> but the problem is they only put like a pinch of nutmeg in that. Mm. Anywho. And it's also so, like if you're eating it by itself. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit more difficult to do. Because, like, usually you mix it in with other things. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so I was at the grocery store. Because I, I had to get my cat a big old juicy slab of turkey breast. As one does. And... I saw some mushrooms and I said, you know what? I saw something on TikTok recently that was like, here's a thing you can do with mushrooms. I'm like, I love this. I'm going to get it as well, as well as a whole bunch of other crap. And I spent way too much at the grocery store, even though I went just for my cat. But that's fine because we got delicious things for me to have. Um, as you should. I, I should. I should have to be able to have delicious things from time to time. And, uh, yeah, so I have that, and then I'm like, okay, now I have to, like, make myself dinner. What am I going to make? And started rooting around, see what's there, because it's just me here right now. My parents yeah. are away uh, doing vacation-y things. As one does. Uh, so I, I was like, you know what? I found the thing on TikTok that was like, ah, here's this delicious thing you could do with mushrooms. Problem is, it was a, only a half put together 
video. Baby, like, get off my keyboard. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> like, it's all right. The guy, the, it's just this chef who's like, I'm going to tell you how to make this awesome mushroom mix. And then he proceeds to say, I, well, I don't have any mushrooms on hand, but basically it's pretty easy. Garlic, oil, white wine, mushrooms chopped up, uh, and uh, some broth, preferably vegetable. Let it simmer for like, I don't know, was it 10 minutes, he said, and then you're good. So I said, that sounds easy. Let me do that. And I was like, okay, but that's not a meal. I have to scrape something else together. Is it supposed to be like a soup? No, it's supposed to be just like a side of, I guess, braised mushrooms. That's the but word. But what do you do with all the liquid that you cooked it in? Um, it's, you're supposed to not put enough in, it, it'll like cook down over a long time, uh, not, not a long time, because he did over only say 10 minutes. Ten minutes. Um, it should, should only use a little bit of liquid, so that it has, it's more of a, um, it looks more like a mushrooms in a sauce sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And then I said, ooh, I have a chicken breast in my fridge, I could do something with that. Um, I also have three meatballs in the in the freezer, so why not? Let's let's just use everything. Um, I didn't have any vegetable broth, so I substituted beef broth. Uh, delicious, but not exactly what I was going for. Basically, I made two dishes. I started the mushrooms, decided that. Uh, washing and drying all the mushrooms is going to be a pain, so I'm just going to do a single batch just to see if it's any good. Mm -hmm. um, proceeded to use the rest of the white wine that we had sitting in the fridge for a while, so it was like, good, we could get rid of that while I'm at it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I made the thing. I put the... I took some chicken, sautéed it in some uh, olive oil and butter. Mm. Uh, just to hit it with a little salt and pepper. And then once that was finished having a nice color there, I transferred it into the mushrooms and just, like, let that simmer for an extra um, 10 to 15 minutes because it was like, this isn't what it looked like in the video. So, maybe it just has to cook more. And it probably needed to cook a lot more. So... Uh, it would have been nice if he had mushrooms on hand so that you know what it would actually look like. Right? He's telling he's telling you about this this thing, yeah, and then like, he doesn't tell you how you to make, make it. Why make a dish if you don't have the things to make the dish? Couldn't, couldn't say. He was just, like, at a restaurant, and he's like, look, this is a thing we have. Also, we don't have any materials to make more of it, but it's really easy, and I'll describe it to you in very little detail. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, I also have to do things. I'm sorry. That's okay. You were talking about food. Mm. So then I had all this leftover beef broth because he said only use a little bit. I'm like, what can I do with this? And I was looking up recipes and I'm like, a stool. There, there's like a beef and vegetable soup. Then somebody was like, this is easy. And I'm like, sure. So I just put beef broth in a pot with a bunch of uh, random spices. Well, not spices. More like herbs. Um, Wait, stop one second. Um, I am being a knock, knock, knocked at. Knock, knock. I'm there. So, uh, my oh. mom just came downstairs <laughs> and handed me a little tub of Play-Doh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> So now just, I got a little thing of purple Play-Doh. Just, just, you know, as, as, as one does. Here, I thought you'd like this. Like, what, what, what was there a reason that behind it? it? Here, I thought you'd like this. That's amazing. Hi, <laughs> well, I will be 25 long. in less than a month. And I like playing with Play-Doh. Oh my gosh. I mean, there are plenty of people. 
there are, I know people in their mid 40s who are like, get excited when a new Lego thing comes out. So, yeah, it's so fine. Like you, you can do more things with Lego than you can with Play-Doh. <laughs> It's a, it's a nice tactile, you know. Yeah, thing. that's why I like it. I, I like to stim with it. It's 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 a fun little 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 fidgety thing. Business has grown. Business. That's right. That's your city's name. Your naming thing is, is bees. Yup. I spy with my little eyes something that starts with the letter B. It's all of my cities. Uh, costly attack. Eh, he should be fine. Oh my god, I love playing with Play Doh! <laughs> well, there you go. Th thanks. Thanks, Mama Blue. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> A unit needs orders. Go there. Uh, Done. I am. Sometimes I'm amazed at the things that make me happy. Oh, it's it's Play Doh. No. Play-Doh is cool. We like we like Play-Doh. Except when it like dries out. <laughs> oh yeah, well then it's awful. Oh, London is pan uh, England is panicking. They don't know what to do with their warriors. They have a boat that's just going back and forth. Oh boy. It's all it's, over, it's guys. Stuck. It's all over. Say goodnight, Gracie. Gracie? Yeah. Who's Gracie? The person who says goodnight. Oh. No, I wasn't talking to you, Tiger. What? Ty, I said say goodnight, Gracie, and Tiger decided this is my time to chime in. <laughs> Tiger's middle name is Gracie now. Apparently. <laughs> Tiger uh, just named herself. <laughs> exactly. Wait, do they have a third city? Their troops are... Oh. This is that game where we were like, complete kills. So now I have to kill their boats and their <laughs> troops. Oh, this is annoying. But I will get... I will get this deed done. I'll destroy them if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> And honestly, it's only because they they were weak, and yeah, I was strong. It's their fault for falling to your armies. They it really was their better. fault. They, like they had London, they had access to this natural expansion for them. They didn't take it. They instead went for the greedy uh, expansion with York towards um, Brazil. And now they've paid the price for it because they've split their forces and it just, it wasn't good for them. They didn't develop anything. None of their their tiles in London were developed at all. What? Yeah. Not a single I mean, one. The silver that, that they owned. at least you didn't have anything to pillage. I know, that made it actually harder for me to attack because usually I'm like, oh, my troops are getting hit. And we, well, I'll, I might as well pillage. But I mean, it also means you don't have to repair anything. True. But I do have to build everything from scratch, which is annoying. But you don't have to make the settlers. No, I suppose not. Oh, they're take they're trying to attack York back. Oh, guys. Yeah, I can probably take it back. No. If they, if they have the ability. Like, they had oh. warriors in a boat, and then they had another boat. I got a dog. And guess what's inside? More dirt. More dirt. <laughs> another jar of dirt. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> I could do a thing. <gasps> a thing. Um. Oh, but they took the one that I wanted to take. Oh, no. It's... I no longer have the worst population. 
Yay! Do we know who does? Uh, no. Probably I England. Don't. <laughs> probably oh, yeah, England. It's probably since England. Because the there. worst has zero population and zero uh, crop yield and zero manufactured goods and zero GNP and zero land. That's got to be them. Yeah, it's probably England. Sorry, England, oh. get wrecked. I guess I'll just go with this one. Uh, but I have to name it something else. Uh, oof. Oh, these are all things that I were not prepared for at this moment in time. I got the religion. Oh. I just I need to religion, name it. I have a religion, too. <gasps> That's awesome. Yeah. Did you already do it, or are you in the process? Yeah, I already of... did it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Amazing. Which one were you? Zoroastrianism. Oh. The people who worship both Zor... Uh, the, oh, the people who the worship ass. Zoro's ass, of course. <laughs> yeah. Baroqueism. That is a good name. Uh, I was also wondering if I should do something in the realm of the musical themes that I have set up for the. Mm. That would be interesting. Baroque witches. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Broad winnity. Broad winnity. <laughs> <laughs> Broke. Okay, there it is. Let's see if we can fit this. I don't know if it'll fit. Oh, 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 oh. Musicalism? Let's see, does that work? It does work. Um, so Tara just said, well, this shorten mountain to MT. <laughs> Sure. Broke back mountain. We got it. Oh, yeah, the best ones, the best ones. Religion founded. Baroque back mountain. Mm, I love Amazing. It. What a turn. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I love that for you. It's day 3765. I've still not found more land. Mm. It's like a star log. What is it called? It's, yeah. Star it's, date. Star date. That's it. That's the one. You know what? Just go. Just go for it. I really love the fact that my mom just like came downstairs and handed me play doh. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, my hand feels weird now. Yeah. Oh no. There's just like little bits of play doh on it. Hmm. Don't want to get that on your keyboard. Not that I really do a whole lot with my keyboard, uh, in Civ. No, you still could use the arrows. For what? Oh, to move. To, like, move around, yeah. Yeah. But I can also just, like... Drag, put yeah. Put my mouse or drag. Hmm. Damn it, England's still in the game. They have a random boat that's riding around somewhere, and I have to find it. Oh, no. It's either that, or they're just going to be taken out bar by a random barbarian later in the game, and we're just going to see Elizabeth has been knocked out. How do they or still like have... some other civilization. Yeah. How do they still have 146 points? I will never know. Is a trireme really worth a hundred? That seems like it's too many. 
Moctezuma has the same number of points, and Moctezuma has two cities. Two cities? What the heck is he doing? Oh, there he goes. Oh. Now he has 156. <laughs> yep. Shot right up. <laughs> Oh, he's losing six gold per turn. Oh, poor guy. It's not poor guy. He tried to go to war with me. Yeah, but he failed. Because he's dumb. That he is. He is the dumb. How much does he it cost? He didn't attack oh. any of my cities. He you just guys... kind of like poked my units a little bit. Just, just give him a little, a little wee poke. Just a wee poke. Why would you poke your Wii? Um, actually, I just did. Wii or Wii U? Oh, the original Wii. Mm. Mine of that doesn't work anymore. No. Oh. I don't want to go looking Wii. for their stupid boat. Yo, that's fair. All right. England, you live another day somehow. The single boat and no way to get more. Yep. I love this for you. Truly. But we did it. We took England. And they did nothing to stop me. Which because is the more incredible thing. They are bad at war. Well, now I need to know what's next. Hmm. I guess I could just steamroll Brazil. Maybe it's time to make another caravan. It might be, yeah. What about you, Babylon? You got anything to trade? Absolutely nothing. Useless. Wait, Montezuma, would you like to trade with me anything? Thars, what will you give? Nothing? Go fuck yourself. Oh, but you've got a third city. Good for you. Yay. That's what gave him those 10 points. A second city is only 10 points? A third city. Oh, sorry. A third... Still only 10 points? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. That needs to be crushed. Well, time to encroach on Milan's territory. <laughs> oh, he said Milan. <laughs> I thought he decided to pick up an accent. Well, time to encroach on me lands. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> I'm Irish now. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. It's a few like days a over days now. Ago. Yeah. I couldn't celebrate it on the day, though, because I had to work that night and then work in the morning the next See, day. See, but, like, what are you... What What is St. Patrick's Day celebration of? Irish culture. And history. Or at least that's what it's evolved into here. That's, that's fair. I just like... It's kind of a... That's that's the global, like, thing. The St. Patrick's Day. It just Day. seems a little weird to me that in doing that, people just, like, let, like, rivers are dyed green and people binge drink and, like, there's leprechauns and clovers everywhere instead of, like, actual Irish heritage stuff going on. True. Um, so, like, binge drinking isn't, uh, something that is just what Ireland does. No, but it is... Oh my god, is that another continent? <gasps> is it? I'm a Hanoi. I do not see a Hanoi. I found more land. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So apparently, uh, St. Patrick's Day started when, you know, the dude St. Patrick died. He died on March 17th, 
And so they're kind of like celebrating his memory and the, you know, when you do that, it's just kind of like throwing a party and people, people have drinks at parties. That's what it kind of took on. I can't believe I finally have more places to explore. I am so happy for you. It's not just water. <laughs> no, I'm out here somewhere in this whole continent that I'm a slowly engulfing. Actually, Brazil <laughs> is next. They've only have two cities. Oh mm. boy. And all of my armies are already there. What about your sleeveys? My sleeveys? Yes, you've got oh. your armies. Tell me what's happening with your sleeveys. Um, currently non-existent. I'm in a t-shirt, but mm. my leggies are doing just fine. Is this an island or is this a continent? The world may never know. It's an island. Yay. I also found like a sandbar with some barbarians on it. Oh. Did you crash them into the ground? No. There's like no space and they're archers. And so if they're between the spearmen and the brute, they're going to get smushed. Wait, it's just an archer on an island? No, I am the archer. Oh. Yeah, that ain't going to work. No. I wonder when we'll be able to meet one another. Um, Probably not until one of us gets the ability to cross oceans. And it'll probably be you first, if I'm being honest. Uh, I am quite far away from that happening. You're also, like, more technologically advanced than I am. There we go. You know what? I just queued it up. And so that's going to be the next thing that I go for. Astronomy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. so far away from being able to get astronomy. I made peace with Britain. I mean, what am I gonna do? Might as well. How do you make peace with Britain if they don't have a city? You just say, all right, we won't attack you, your boat, your one boat, and you don't attack us. With your, with one, your boat. one boat. That you can't upgrade and you can't get more any anything. Oh my God. That's gotta suck. Mm -hmm. God, this hot chocolate's really good. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> hey. Well, you know, I I do my best. No, don't shoot them. Stop shooting them. What? Who's who's shooting? The barbarians. Oh well, the barbarians are gonna shoot. Is this a spooky version of... Da, da, da. Yeah, this is the Ode to Joy, but in a minor key and on the organ. Why? Oh. Interesting. I guess it's the war music. Sydney cancels a quest. I didn't want to do the quest anyway. What I don't even know what the quest was. I turn on the game music. Stop uh, shooting my bow! But they like shooting your bow. I don't want them to do it. Then go to the next island. I'm trying to leave. Okay. Keep clicking things like it's gonna do anything different. I hope my archer doesn't die. I hope it doesn't either. And you can't fortify when you're in the water? No. 
so, uh... I'm alive! I live! You live! I live, bitch! <sighs> if only I had the iron. Want to trade yet? No. Bye. <laughs> you want to trade yet? I have marble. Ragusa. Where the hell is Ragusa? There's Ragusa. I might be losing my archer soon. <gasps> Brussels has barbarian problems. Oh, I'm gonna take them out for you. Don't you worry. <laughs> Having barb problems? I feel bad for you, son. <laughs> Got 99 problems, but a barb ain't one. England's one remaining boat, however. <laughs> That's so funny to me. It's just one boat floating around. Hey, anybody who wants to be allies? Would you like to give me a settler? Oh, if, if only. You can't do that in this game. Hmm. Even if you take a captured settler, it becomes a worker. Which, quite frankly, dumb. Stop shooting my boat! <laughs> Stop blowing holes in my ship! My boat so, gone. Oh no. Somebody else down there. That's some bull crap. That is some heck, heck and bull crap. your health at 57 and yours is also 57 I'm converting people to my religion Ooh. how fun for you did I do it Brussels are we pals now really you don't want to be pals with me but like, what if I give you money? No, I need this money. I can't give you. I, I'm, I, I don't have the money for this. I'm just a Baroque cannot. lad. <laughs> oh my God, the Baroque, Baroque lad Bible. Bible. That's what it should have been. Damn it. Because the lad Bible's a thing. Mm. And I am but a Baroque lad. Montezuma doesn't want to be friends with me. They're lost. They still covet lands that I own, though. Oh, I bet Rio now covets lands that I own. Do you? Mm. They clearly see the potential threat posed by your warmongering. Whereas they Nebuchadnezzar... Might just, you. Uh, they might. If they do, I'll just take them. Like... What, Shaka also has concerns about warmongering. You are a warmonger. Are my workers digging up a forest? Uh, in order to improve the tile, yeah. They'll have to clear the forest. No, they're making roads. Okay. Oh. It's like, they're not chopping it down. I see. They're digging it up. 
You know what? I could rearrange this to be a bit more threatening. <laughs> I know the Zulu caravan probably is just trading with me. But it was just funny. This was like I took York and then I'm looking at York and I'm like, ha, ah, look at this newly newly mined city. <laughs> and just the caravan appears out of nowhere. I just like to imagine that the caravan was going to England. And then they show up and they're like, wait a minute. Did we take a wrong turn? Where are we? <laughs> oh, I mean, they trade with a specific city, not a specific... Um... Oh, really? Yeah. Like, their caravans work the same that yours do. Mm. I just figured that if a city changed its hands, then the caravan would, like, reset. No. That's weird. Because trade routes only stop if the time ends on them or if you go to war with the person who's sending it. Gotcha. Also, Jules so is both, back. Welcome back, Sorry. Jules. Go, so go like ahead. a third uninvolved party is doing trade with either one of you, the trade doesn't stop happening with that city. Very interesting. That's why the trade routes can be plundered. Yes, uh, Jules, what you missed is um, Blue's mom came by and dropped off some Play-Doh, just cause. Um, and I conquered England and um, I now have a religion and that religion is a Baroque Back Mountain as named by Tara. And oh Tara God, has... Also, ooh, you have a kitty in your lap. Yes. Uh, and Tara has made a meme about it in the Discord, and we love it. There was much rejoicing. There That's, was. That is what you missed. And I'm making a road to urine town. I'm making a road between Beetlejuice and business. I didn't do it on purpose. My workers just decided to do it. Nice. And they've been doing it for a while now. Go give Beetlejuice the business. There we go. That's a bit more threatening formation. I just want to. I just want to get Brazil a little scared. Also, who wants to trade silver? I'd love to. I don't know you though. No. Oh. I don't know you. All right, what are you doing I... in my house? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zulu also they're 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 mad at me because of the whole warmongering thing. Mm. And I mean, I am doing that. I am absolutely warmongering. I had no reason to take over England other than the fact that they were weak. Baby Lon has grown. Yay! Maybe one day it'll be a toddler lawn or a child lawn or adolescent lawn a teen lawn but for now tis baby why won't my archer move uh oh uh oh uh oh no no it's happening again the game is frozen. I mean, like, I can click on my cities and, like, click between things. Hold on. Stop. Maybe stop clip it clicking. Let's see if we can just wait, wait this out. Okay. Damn it. No. And I didn't save see recently. If I can change production on one of my cities. 
I cannot. Mm. I saved in the BC times, not the AD times. Jules has a joke. A joke? I love jokes. How was the Roman Empire cut in half? With a pair of Caesars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have both saves ready to go. Amazing. All right. Uh, so this I'm is where we're going to end it here. Out. Goodbye to Baroque Stream. It was lovely being here. I love what you've done with the place. Keep doing it. Keep it up. Thank you very much for watching the Baroque Gaming stream slash video. If you enjoyed and you made it this far, you might as well do a couple things for me. You might as well like the video, subscribe, ring that bell, smash it, leave a comment on everything that we are doing wrong, because I'm sure there's many, many things. And check us out live on twitch.tv slash Baroque Gaming. You can also check out the Discord where you can have the most up-to-date information on the stream, as well as a share in the memes and the revelry and the the joyous times that are had there. And uh, check out the merch, support the stream any way you can. There's a Patreon. Check it out. If you become a patron, then I will make stuff for the Patreon. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching the video again. And uh, until next time, this is Baroque Gaming, signing off.